The time and date were not set properly on the dash cam, but on December 30th, 2022, this couple was stopped in traffic at a red light when all of a sudden. Oh my God. Now this isn't an uncommon occurrence. There's roughly 1.7 million rear end collisions in the US every year. It's what happens next that makes this story stick out from all the others. The driver gets out to check the damage, and the first thing that the driver of the one-ton pickup does is inform the other driver that he's a cop. Both drivers agree that they should move their cars off of the roadway. I don't think you really did anything in my car. The couple gets out to inspect the damage. The driver of the truck begins to become irate informing them over and over again in slurred speech that he's a police officer. <laughs> the couple calls 911 to report the accident and the potential drunk driver that rear-ended them. Hello? Hi, may I help you? Sorry, I didn't realize my, so I got, somebody rear-ended me and I didn't realize my car was connected to my phone. So can I get a cop to, where are we again? By the, common sense common, by the mall. common sense by the Ogden Mall. It's right by the... Uh, it's on Wall Avenue. Wall Avenue right next to Longhorn Steakhouse. I'm in a Ford Fusion um, 2018. It's a Ram 1500. The guy says he's a cop. Rear-ended me at a stoplight. Alright, I'll go ahead and pass along with the officer out. Thanks. Thank you. That's recording. I'm okay. Sorry, guys are upset. I'm sorry. That's all right. After talking to the off duty cop that rear ended them, they realized that his truck is blocking the entrance to the gas station, so they decide to move their cars up again. As they get back in the car, the passenger is clearly upset about something. Fucking piece of shit. At this point, the driver is certain that the man who rear-ended him is drunk. He gets out one last time to check the back of his car and see if his trunk will actually open. At this point, the suspected drunk off-duty Salt Lake police officer later identified as Thomas Cagle moves his truck forward. He's rear-ended the sedan again, but this time with the driver pinned between the truck and the car, crushing his legs. At first, it's questionable whether Thomas Cagle is just so hammered that he just had another accident. However, after pinning his victim, he puts his truck in park and refuses to move. The victim remains pinned between the two cars for more than 30 seconds before the passenger gets in the sedan and moves it forward. The victim cries for help, but unfortunately, he was not carrying a firearm, which could have been used to neutralize the threat. Oh my God! After moving the car forward, the female walks between the car and the truck. Bystanders who witnessed the incident and heard the screaming come from the gas station to help. While an off-duty paramedic and bystanders offer aid, the drunk Salt Lake City police officer that just crushed someone with his truck walks around freely. They would find out later that the entire time he was carrying a pistol on his side. The victim was transported from the scene in an ambulance. The Ogden police responded to the incident, but Cagle had previously worked for this police department, so they claimed that there was a conflict of interest and called in another police department to make the arrest.
Both myself and the Lackluster Channel have made open records requests to the Ogden Police Department as well as the arresting Riversdale Department for body cam footage so that we could see how they handled this incident. Neither department has even so much as responded to our records requests. The Riversdale Police Department did, however, give body cam footage to ABC4 News. In the small clips that they did publish, you can see Officer Cagle standing around casually with his hands in his pockets just chatting with officers. Mind you, this is a man who just used his truck to crush someone. Later at the police department, Salt Lake City Officer Cagle expresses how upset he is that this one little incident may cause him to lose his retirement. I put so much time and effort into my career and then something stupid like this yeah. is more than likely gonna during his time at Ogden Police Department, Officer Cagle was written up multiple times for preventable accidents as well as other incidents. One of those accidents included him hitting a pedestrian with his car. And he can't seem to express enough how worried he is about his career and how unconcerned he is about the man whose legs he just crushed. I'm just gonna be pissed if Salt Lake f***ing over with only a few years left. When the police footage is released, be on the lookout for it on Theodore Donnie's YouTube channel as well as the Lackluster channel. For now, if you want to see the entire incident uncut, I linked to Theodore Donnie's YouTube channel below.